hello everyone so today we are going to work on this simple snake particle system using Nylera so or these are supposed to be snakes uh, or whatever you want to want them to be so yeah we are going to create this model and implement uh, Niagara particle system that shows this uh, behavior of moving like snakes on the ground okay so this is blender so let's quickly create a simple snake model let me delete this uh, cube and let's add a plane here and let's rotate it around x-axis 90 degrees now we can see in this view this cube like this let me move it up and apply all transforms now let's go to the edit mode and start editing this mesh to get a rough snake like shape so let me extrude that this part a bit scale down and extrude again so this is going to be like the head of the snake this is the head so let me give it some shape like this so we can see kind of a snake head from the side not perfect I know but it's easy enough again screw this a bit longer into the back this should be enough we don't really need a large snake let's add some divisions in the middle because we need some uh, vertices to make the mesh bend properly in the middle otherwise it will not look smooth when the snake moving and bending so what this should be now okay and some cuts in here as well okay now select all the faces and move a bit to the side so we are going to apply a modifier a mirror modifier and the mirror range should happen along y axis so we can have a, another mesh face like this I'll enable clipping and extrude with E inward. Now we can fill this mesh. And if you enable extra mode, you can see inside also we have some faces which I don't need. So let's delete them. They are already selected. Okay. Let me disable extra mode. Now here, GG and move it like this similarly this downward edge is also gg move across the face oh we forgot to make it make the shape from the top view but that's fine it's, our goal is not 
create in a perfect snake model we just need some model to implement our Niagara system so let's make the tail smaller and go to edge selection mode go to top Overt click Overt click so the edges around the body is selected press S to scale down we can make this a bit more smaller across x s across y press s and y press s and z I really don't need to spend, won't spend more time on here, but let's just copy paste it. Okay, so this is server snap model. Mm, I'll modify the face a bit as well. Right now, let me check the face orientation. It's all red, which is the uh, faces are inside. That means, yeah. But the normal should go outward, so select all. Normals flip. Right now, this is this should be enough actually. So let's export this as an FBX to our project folder. Snack. Forward is x, y, z is up, and export. Right now, here, let's create a border, snake, and let me import that model. Mm. Uniform scale, this may be too big. But let's import and see. So here we have a blank character for reference. See, as I said, it's too big, and also front is this way, not this way. So let's go to import settings. Point one, zero point zero one. Let's use this scale and the rotation we need to rotate it 180 degrees around this z axis so use these settings and re-import now it's very small yeah and facing forward good so let's also create a simple material as well and snake let's just have a base color Red. and assign it as the material okay now let's create our Niagara particle system New system from selected demeters. I'll choose this fountain. Fairness next. Now, as you can see here, oh, we don't need a particle. Uh, this is a sprite. We need a mesh renderer. And as the mesh, we need to use this snake mesh. So now you see 
the snakes are shot up. Let me delete this guy. So this is not the way we need it. We need snakes to move forward. So maybe not add velocity. Let's add the force here. Sorry. Oh, also we need to enable collisions to may prevent them moving down the floor. So let's first add the force. What kind of a force? Oh, we already have gravity. Mm, it's okay, let's just go with acceleration. How about 250? In next direction. Well, I don't really see anything because they are not colliding. So, let's add a collision. Yeah, now you see they are moving forward, but not much. Let's add this shape location instead of a sphere. Let's make it a box. Right now they are spawned from all the places a bit. Um, And by about that, yeah, and also they do not, they shouldn't drop. And they shouldn't spawn below as well. So let me move it up and this. Shape. I'll make this one 10. Yeah. Now I'll move it to 10. So now minimum drop is there, which is good. So they are not moving forward enough. So let's uh, increase the lifetime. Four to five. Okay. What else? They have a drag. Let's reduce it. Point one. Right. Maybe one more thing. Shift location X and reduce it to 100. Yeah. Okay. Now they need some wave like movement because they don't really look like snakes now. So, in this material, let's get. Work position and your component mask. Well, we all, all we need is some value. So let's first try with R and put this into a sine wave. So what I'm trying to do is having some wave-like behavior on the body of the snake on the mesh based on the location of the world. So adding a world position offset. So if I multiply this with some um, vector, no, constant free vector. So I only need to change x and y notice it let's apply see 
Now they do have some wave like behavior, but it's too fast. So we can increase this period of the sign function. Now it looks more visual. Maybe instead of one, let's try two. Okay. Now, how do we give multiple colors? So, multiple color. Let's use this one. Now, it all becomes white. But here we can switch color. Oh wait, initialize particle color. Here we can direct set select linear color from memory. One is red, white, another one, black, and this should be triangle. Now we should have, yeah, multiple colored snakes. Okay, what else? Let's increase the spawn rate 400. And you can see some of them are not really getting any chance to move. Most of them stay here. So let's again enable this velocity. Uh, not upward though in x direction yeah now all of them do get a chance but still too fast so yeah this is better One more thing, if I rotate this to another direction, you can see they are still facing this way. So if we want to fix it, what we can do is um, here, facing mode to velocity. And now you will see when they stop, they turn upside down like this. So to prevent that, we can enable this option lock axis enable, lock axis enable. So now they don't turn when they stop, but still they are moving this way because our force is applied in the world space this force so if I make it local I think it should work yeah 
it's uh, the force is applied in the direction the arrow is facing and why some of them are stuck here this one already look no velocity in the cone uh, this cone axis on uh, system x axis wait no well, this is also able to work correctly let's set it to linear and all right uh, well somehow it seems wrong when i rotate to the other direction but still you can use this i need to look into that rotation board so but anyway you what you have to look on to is checking on this axis that you are applying accelerations and velocities so i'm going to stop this episode right here here is the final version simple snakes particle so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye